Namaste Pisces, this is Crystal, your High Priestess. I would like to pray for everyone in their safety for the next four days. Alright. Um, and hopefully God protects all of my little angels out there. Your gifts for Christmas will be delivered tomorrow. I'm sorry, sorry for the delay, Pisces, but it was just so much going on with the USPS. Um, USPS um, services for the priority shipping. So I will ship it out tomorrow. Some should get theirs on Monday or Tuesday. Um, actually, Monday is a holiday, so Tuesday or Wednesday. Oops. Look at spirit. Okay. Okay. So let's cleanse the area. Pisces. So the channel message, Pisces, is to know your value. To know your value and your worth. Alright, so let's see what Spirit has for my lovely Pisces for the next 48. And thank you for those who gave me the thumbs up on my last video. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of thumbs up. Pisces. Pisces. Regarding our love life. Alright, the age of the aquarium is getting hot. A lot of options, Pisces, and love. Now, if you do have a uh, feather, you can pass it around your left and right shoulder here to get rid of negative energy. All right. Now, I did have a dream about blood. I don't know why. It was just so intense. So, equal balance. All right, Pisces. Equal balance for a share, charity. All right. So, if you want to give, donate. Please donate and give. You might have a soulmate in and out energy. What balance? You're trying to balance your soulmate energy here. As well as Hierophant uh, marriage. Mm -hmm. Thank you for those who give me compliments on my skin. I really take care of my body, so I'm glad you guys acknowledged and thank you. Okay. Regarding love, wow. Manifestation. Now, I'm reading all the cards in the upright today. We do have the chariot here. All right, four with movement, traveling, the magician, and the ace of, ace of uh, suits. A crazy big Gemini, very heavy Gemini. So someone could be in their head stuck about some type of energy or some words that has been thrown around or said to each other. Someone could be praying for a new beginning with you. A Cancer so far. Um, Ace of Swords, a magician. Then we have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So someone made you upset. And then you have the... Wow, okay. So let me just read them in a, in a reversal here. You have the younger Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well as a, an older, wiser Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio who's pissed. And then you have, wow, look at all these people. Who are, who are all of these people? Crazy with Gemini and Ariel Sag. Literally, you have couples. All right? And it, this could be two men. I mean, do, see how you see fit. Two Pisces or a masculine, feminine energy. This is masculine or feminine. See the story how you see fit. It's not a personal. And leave the rest Pisces. So you have your back turned. Now, the energy is what I'm picking up is Pisces that you're becoming more firm. This is what I was picking up for the last couple of weeks. Stay with me. Okay? Follow the storyline. All right? So you're feeling a little defensive. You're on guard. You don't protect these people. You don't... Uh, um, trust these people anymore in your life queen of wands you know perhaps it's another woman or it could be another woman in energy if you are female pisces if you're male pisces you're on guard as well and you don't trust some type of um individual you're dealing with you might feel like they might be juggling you right and not really being fair options seven of uh cups having options so you're thinking about becoming single nine nine you do have the nine of cups reversed Okay, not being wish fulfilled. Satisfying this connection. Someone is not making you feel like how you're supposed to. So you're up all night. You're having uh, dreams, in, um, premonitions about this connection. So you're going with spirit. And karmic debt here. The will of karma is reversed. And taking a leap of faith is also, excuse me, Pisces, reversed. So yeah, you're not willing to take this leap of faith anymore. You're not willing to risk your dignity your sanity or your emotional um, stability here. So let's clarify, Pisces. This is your energy. So many people in one reading is is crazy right now. I'm going to go with the angel wisdom. Now these cards I will not read reversed. These are angels, so you don't read the oracles reversed. All right, Pisces. So um, actually, we also have new wisdom oracle cards. I keep forgetting to read them, but I think I know them just by heart. Actually, so when I have time, I will read like exactly what the book is saying for um, the message here. So let's see for Pisces regarding this love. <laughs> Maybe you have a lot of options in love. You don't know who to choose. Let me see. 
you manifested this maybe let's see okay the yin masculine energy okay feminine energy i'm sorry pisces this is the yin let's make sure i think it's the feminine energy the yang is the masculine Right, this is the feminine energy. So number two, Pisces. So you're in your power. You're here. You're you're definitely in your own power. Feminine energy here. The yin energy, very feminine energy, uh, for you, Pisces, is number two. So we will read this later. On the bottom, truth be told. Okay, truth be told. So someone needs to tell the truth about how they feel in this connection. But uh, I see that you manifested this, but maybe you're running away. Or it's something you don't want. Something is missing. Alright. Why's well, the Ace of Swords here for Pisces? The Wheel of Karma. Alright. So you have the Wheel of Karma twice here. Sagittarius energy and some type of uh, karma here. Pisces. It's a cycle that you are trying to break maybe. With the Wheel of Karma being here in reverse and coming up now. Right. All it can also speak about money, but it was confirmed with the Ace of Swords. So you're definitely in your head about this karmic connection or this love romance connection. This is a love reading. You're in your head about it. Something is making you think twice. All right. And also you have the Magician of Virgo energy. So manifested. You manifested this. Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Everyone is damn near here. Crazy for Gemini. No Earth. The only Earth we have is the Nine of Pentacles. So if you deal with the Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, they're interested in being single at the moment here. I don't see you're interested in them either. So um, let me see. Someone has you in your head. Maybe a Sagittarius. Make you really reiterate what the what they said to you to words. All right. So let me see. Why is the Magician here? It could be anyone, but someone pissed you off because all of your energy is reversed. And then now look at the queen. Wow. The king, queen of uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all pissed. We are pissed. Someone really pissed us off. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, is it maybe? Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, okay. So you got the king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Very in your power. Come hell or high water, this is my card. Um, trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious. Someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe. A solid romantic relationship hidden, but well-intentioned emotions. A charitable benefactor. Seeing a counselor. Alright, so maybe Pisces, this person is trying to tell you they love you, but you don't feel it. Okay, maybe you're reiterating wh what is going on here. Maybe it's... You know, it's maybe too good to be true. Or you just feel like something is missing. A fresh start. Alright? Or an end of delays, it says. Alright? Travel or new vehicle also with the Will of Karma. So, manifesting, you have the Gemini. Also, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and a Virgo here. Someone who you could trust. All right, so the connection is someone you could be, you could trust. But let's look at this. You have also the Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold, and this and the Ace of Pentacles about a house or a new vehicle or a car. I said vehicle, yeah, house, or car. Um, good fortune. So you do have money though, Pisces. I see maybe a new car or a new house, a new career. Maybe someone feels like you're leaving them behind. Maybe you're moving, right? You're moving to a new house and this person is feeling left out, okay? Maybe left behind by you. All right. Now you do have an Aries Leo Sag here in this connection. Let's find out who and what this person wants. All right. So you have a passionate offer as well. Um, let me see. Why is the ace of, I mean the queen of wands here for Pisces regarding love life? Charitable. <laughs> okay, Pisces. Eight of cups. Now we're just going to take this because this is the card. All right, so maybe an Aries Leo Sag or another Pisces Cancer Scorpio walks away. You could have walked away from this Aries Leo Sag or Pisces Cancer Scorpio. They walked away from you. See how you see fit, but someone moved away, walked away. 
very heavy Sagittarius. Um, why is the Wheel of Karma here for Pisces? Release your ex, all right? So definitely um, a breakup, an ending here. This is the death card in reverse. Maybe someone has Scorpio on their rising, all right? Or their moon or Sagittarius there. All right, so endings that lead to new beginnings. So maybe you need to end this cycle with a karma, a karmic connection maybe with a, a Cancer, a Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, all right, or Leo. All right, so let me see. We do have a lot of um, firm energy coming towards the future here. So let's see. Um, Queen and King of Swords, this is a couple, and then you have the the Knight of Cups. So someone really made you mad at Aries the Osage. I mean, a crazy but Gemini. Maybe Aries the Osage too. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see what Spirit has. Okay, the Magician, yeah. Um, most likely a, a Virgo or a Gemini, like I called it the first time twice con confirming. I was going to confirm the Queen of uh, Swords. And the king of swords, okay, so this is just two people, same same energy. Um, so maybe someone asked for a break or someone made you upset that you took a break from them and this connection. Now someone is wishing for a, a, a restart here. And then you have the seven of cups having options. Mm -hmm. You have options. All of these people. So I don't want to hear all oh, confused this, that, and the third. If, you, if you're confused, book a private reading. But it's definitely a lot of energy of a lot of people you had to put in place. You manifested all these people. Why is the Seven of Cups? And now you don't know what to do with them. Is what I'm picking up. You have the Emperor reverse, the lovers, Gemini, a father figure, Gemini, one mother figure here who's who's here. Gemini heavy here. Um, seven of Pentacles wanting to work on things. Eight of Swords reversed. Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to read these uh, oracles reversed. So let me re clarify. Why is the Seven of Cups here? It definitely was the Gemini. King of um, Pentacles. Stability here. So someone is unstable. Someone was lacking the commitment here. Someone wouldn't commit to you. All right. And this ticked you off. So you got the King of and King of uh, Cups and the Knight of Cups reversed. So you start to pull back your emotions, your love. Your yoni, your magic stick, whatever you're doing. Sexual energy, emotional energy, you start to withdraw. That's what I'm picking up, okay? Now, maybe this is why the Eight of Cups is here. Because Pisces, the Eight of Cups is a Pisces energy. It's about walking away from foolery and fuckery. And you put a big ending to it. Death card. Okay? You, you're just done with it. You gave them too many chances, perhaps. And uh, the chances ran dry. Why is the uh, King of Cups here reversed? The three of uh, three of wands. So someone thinks they had time, or someone is still thinking they have time to reconnect with you. They think that they got you by the balls or by the the you know by the hands here. They think they got you. They could come back in and out whenever they want, when however they please. But they're gonna have a rude awakening, awakening Pisces, when you say no. Why is the uh, Knight of Cups here for Pisces? Now, ooh, okay, so two, two. So the two of swords, I just, it was trying to come out. So it's something someone can't see, right? And the reason I'm going to say they can't see this love that you had to offer, right? It was blinded. They was thinking, and as always, that they can find better. I think it's the same card. Strength of Leo. So yeah, hangman and the strength of Leo energy. Maybe someone was taming to controlling or someone said you was controlling and left you stuck or you felt stuck or you felt like someone was controlling you, Pisces. Hangman and the awakening and strength card is definitely a Pisces or Leo. All right. And it made you upset. Maybe you put so much energy in one person, that person disappointed you, Pisces. And now... You're um, thinking about your work, your career, and becoming single and loving your single life. You're not willing to just, you know, allow people to walk all over you is what I'm getting. Why is the nine? Oh, okay. Nine of Pentacles. Wow, powerful today. Ten of Pentacles. Working on your money. Maybe you let people borrow too much money and someone kept coming to you to borrow. The Ten of Pentacles came out reversed. Okay, so you're here now no longer allowing people to come and take from you regardless if it's financial emotional emotional um energy or spiritual 
All right. So you're not going to let people drain you. Like even talking about negative shit that does not even make sense. You, you, you don't want it. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to be around it. Right. Right. So this is where I see the four swords with you sitting in solitude, Pisces, coming very, very firm. All right. So nine of uh, cups here for Pisces reverse wish fulfillment. Knight of cups. Yeah. You see. So you're going to make yourself wish fulfilled. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're no longer allowing people to come in and out your life and to abuse you or to take advantage of your kindness. All right? So if you don't see me or my value, I, I must go. So let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, someone was lacking the commitment with you, Pisces, and it made you kind of sad. All right? Someone wanted to offer you or maybe someone wanted to give you a piece of them but it wasn't the piece that you were looking for is what I'm picking up and also you were feeling insecure in this connection like someone was traveling or driving to see someone else at night okay or maybe in a different day saying they're working they're not really working all right so you may have felt insecure in this connection this person didn't make you feel value valuable with someone that didn't really value you enough in this connection all right All right, so we're going to see right now what your partner want to tell you, Pisces. Um, this is a lot, though. I'm thinking about walking away. Let's get a final. Um, and we do have the Eight of Swords, meaning sleepless nights or words that were set um, back and forth to each other. I see a Leo with the sun here, a crazy big Gemini, or a Leo, okay? Or it could be another Pisces kid, a Scorpio who pissed you off, or Aries or Sag, all right? Or a crazy big Gemini. The earth signs I don't really see. All right, what's the final advice for the Pisces in this connection? Five of Swords. Yeah, someone is going to sit here and try to apologize after uh, a realization. After you leave them in this corner, 5-5, five, five, to think about what the fuck they did to you, Pisces, someone is really going to try to apologize. Also, the Page of Wands, Passion, Aries Leo Stash, rushing in. Please forgive me. I don't know what I have done. All right. Let's get one more. Someone is also, someone might also uh, use religious, religion or spiritual. I'm not, you know, I wasn't raised in the church. I wasn't raised to do this as an excuse. You have the page of pentacles. Okay, so you're sitting here evaluating, trying to figure out what they have to offer because they better come with something. All right, six of wands. All right, being victorious. All right, you want someone to fight for you and to win you over. Page of Swords. So someone could be stalking or immature energy here. You've got two pages. A crazy big Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Someone could be literally, uh, you have the page, and you have three pages actually. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, crazy big Gemini here. All these pages is, is, um, is here. So Someone could be stalking your social media, trying to keep tabs on you, trying to figure out what you're up to. Did you move on? All right. And someone is going to come back to apologize to reconcile this connection with you after some time apart. I'm getting like maybe in a couple of hours. Not so not so long. All right, Pisces, what is this? That's, this is, yeah, the five of cups crying over spilled milk. Someone is mourning and crying over a five, five, five. Okay forward movement they know that you moved on and now someone is regretting like what did i do how can i fix this what was i thinking right because you said i'm giving you my love but don't leave me here stuck don't try to play me right here leaving you here stuck you said i had enough pisces you're, you're turning your back you're reversed okay all right, so let's close this with psalms actually i want to read number two for the yang I mean, for the yin. All right. So, Pisces, what do your partner want to tell you? Some of us in a Venus for my lovely Pisces. All right. So, 1111 and the King of Cups, Pisces. What do your partner want to tell you? This is a preview of the extended. Okay. Five of Cups and the Two of Swords. Someone is blinded. Okay, someone can't see this love. Someone is crying over spilled milk. Maybe you walked away from them. You became cold. All right. 
you walked away. You cut off communication. Right? Um, wow, a lot. So crazy, but Gemini, heavy here, and someone having options. A lot of blue. All right, throat chakra speaking the truth, wanting to speak to you, wanting to have a conversation about what went wrong here, what's on the bottom. The Queen of Cups, all right, um, reversed. A crazy be Gemini really um, made you upset here, or it could be anyone. Virgo, all right, let's see what Pisces partner want to tell us. Ooh, okay, so someone wants to admit that they were a fool. Okay, they didn't take this leap of faith into your direction. Now someone is upset that you silenced them. You went cold, right, Pisces? You have a beginning and an ending, Aries, and you have Pisces here. So someone is upset that things ended, um, you know, just ended. Like, surprisingly, someone didn't think you had the guts or the power to walk away from them. All right? Let's clarify. There's a lot of blue, a lot of energy of another Pisces or Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Crazy, but Gemini here. Why is the Five of Cups here? It could be anyone basically though. So let's see. Release Scorpio energy. Knight of Cups. Okay. So Pisces, someone, this could be your energy as well, but this is what your partner want to tell you. They're missing you. They wish they could, could open up communication with you, but someone, pride and ego is in a way here. Why is the two of swords? I see a whole bunch of communication being shut down. Why is the two of swords here? Not not seeing things for what it really is. Ten of Cups almost flew on the floor here. Uh, happiness with the Queen of Cups. So someone do want to be happy with you. Someone is regretting. All right. And then you have the Emperor, the older woman, older man here. Reverse Taurus, Libra energy, and someone from your past. Six of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So. This is what I'm seeing. The reason why all the swords came out so soon is that this person per perhaps came off a little cold. All right. And now they're realizing that they made a big mistake. All right. Coming coming to you a little, you know, unemotional. And now someone is regretting. So now all the emotions is coming in with the six of cups, the ten of cups and the queen of cups and also the knight of cups. So you're laying on top of these swords, your emotions your love that you gave this person is now they're starting to really see it. All right. It could be someone new or someone from your past Pisces. Okay. The yin energy Pisces. The feminine and principle of receptivity. Letting someone else make the first move. Gathering information and making an accuse. And taking an cues, The art of conscious allowing. The Oracle message, this is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept it when it appears. Ying does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shape, not the shaper, and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. The relationship message for the yin. Let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness and conscience surrender by yielding the rings you will find yourself effortlessly 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 moving closer to what you truly desire permit others to tell you who they are and who they will be to you by allowing the actions to speak about them you'll be pleasantly surprised namaste pisces